This is what we've been waiting for, folks. Before we go any further, we are going to have major spoilers for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 61. We have the reveal of what Vegeta's new technique is going to be and the huge twist ending this manga chapter that was unexpected. Even though we, we kind of thought it could happen at some point, it's already happened. I'm not going to go into what happens. Uh, right, I will in a second, but not yet. Giving you a spoiler warning. Also, this Saturday afternoon on the East Coast, I don't know what time, right here on Geekdom 101, I will be live. Uh, we'll be doing a live stream discussing this manga chapter, what it means for the future, what could happen. A lot to discuss with each and every one of you. I want all of you to be there this Saturday, the 20th afternoon. Join me. We'll be live. We'll have several different guests on discussing Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 61 in detail, okay? That's my plug. Also, smash that like button right now. Uh, it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I love you and I appreciate it. Let's get into these uh, spoilers here, okay? From Dragon Ball Hype, he posted these on his blog because you have to be careful, guys. Shueisha is coming after people on social media now for posting manga spoilers. So if you post certain screenshots, Shueisha might, might go after you on Twitter. They might copyright claim you. Letting you know this now that sometimes they do it. Not everyone's getting hit, but Dragon Ball Hype got hit recently and a few others did too. So just be aware of that. This is what they do. Anyways, let's go into it right now. DBS Hype. He's trying to be careful to not put this on Twitter to avoid getting hit. Um, Vegeta's new technique, folks, is called Spirit Separation. Spirit Separation. So basically, Vegeta is able to, in a way... I don't want to just say separate his spirit, but based on the uh, on these images, which we're gonna, I'm gonna try and show you all these images here. It's a little bit of Vegeta fighting Moro. Um, let me zoom in. There's a better look right there, and Vegeta is somehow able to, as Moro, look at this, as Moro is trying to absorb the energy, he's trying to absorb energy. Vegeta is actually able to take that energy and take it away from Moro. Look right here. You see the globs coming out of energy. You see Vegeta up here, looks like he's making like a little, um, putting them all together, sort of like a big blast, a big controlment of energy. So spirit control and spirit separation is pretty much what this is. So this is what we predicted, Old Pie and I did a few months ago, in that Vegeta's going to have to figure out a way to reverse or block Moro's absorption because this dude can't continuously absorb energy you know, and he's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. They won't be able to do anything. But it looks like Vegeta has figured out how to block him from doing that. And there's more, folks. There's more. Here we have Vegeta dodging a blast. Goku and him having a conversation, which I do not have translated. And then here it is. Moro's trying to blast it out. And Vegeta is able to actually move it into this giant orb of energy. So, and here's a better look right there. Vegeta is controlling the energy. So Vegeta's been able to... Out control Moro. Here it is, right here. He just dissipates all the energy. Um, I don't exactly know the context of everything going on right here. We're gonna find out when the translations come out for the manga chapter tomorrow. So I don't have full context of this. If this is actually the entire spirit separation technique, there may be more to it. But it looks like this is being witnessed by the entire Earth, as you can see here on in the sacred realm. You know, you've got the energy just just flying up. And here is Vegeta with a huge kick, a Van Damme type of kick, right in Moro's gut, yo. Moro is in trouble. And it looks right here, it looks right here based on how we're seeing it. Moro is defeated by Vegeta. Vegeta is going to defeat Moro. But we ain't done. Because you know this is Dragon Ball and things never end so easily. Right here we have Moro. Again, it looks like he's about to be finished off by Vegeta in a scene very similar to the Resurrection F scene where Vegeta had Frieza on all fours, pause, and down and about to deliver the kill. But you can see decisively right there that Moro has been beaten by Vegeta because if Moro can't absorb anything, how's he going to win? And it looks like Vegeta has indeed been able to based on the fact that he has physically defeated Moro. Physically, right? It looks like Vegeta, and again, we will have full context tomorrow when I drop my review and I read the manga chapter and kind of examine it. Remember... Saturday is the live stream. I want y'all to be there with me because it's going to be a fun, fun time talking about this manga chapter and what's coming forward. Anyways, I'm rambling. So, it looks like Vegeta has been able to at least physically get as strong. And again, 
Haven't read the manga chapter, so right now I'm speculating based on the fact that Moro is beaten physically, that Vegeta might be physically as strong as Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. Because remember, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku was able to deliver many shots on Moro. You would assume that Moro would, if he's so strong, be able to beat Vegeta in a physical battle. But that's not the case, unless... Unless Vegeta has figured out how to drain the energy out of Moro that he already absorbed. That could be another possibility as well. That Vegeta is able to suck all the energy out of Moro. Yeah, suck all the energy out of Moro and give it back to where it belongs. It looks like that might actually be what happened here. So ultimately, it's kind of like what we said. That he's able to counter Moro's absorption and control it better than him. Now, the twist ending of the manga chapter this is the twist ending right here. Moro about to be defeated. Moro about to be killed. Moro has 7-3 and Shimareku appear. And Moro is able to blast both of these guys, right? Look right here. There's Moro right here. He's blasting Shimareku at 7-3. And, he, and he's back to being an old man, by the way, which tells me that his power is, is draining fast. And it looks like he is able to blast them and absorb them. Moro absorbs them and becomes a fusion of Shimareku, 7-3, and Moro. And this is the character right here, which I think is now the definitive final boss in this arc. If this arc does not end here, that's one thing. But based on what we're seeing, this is the final boss right here. A triple fusion of Moro, Shimareku, and um, 7-3. Now, why is this a problem? Let me tell you why it's a problem. Vegeta and Goku are in trouble. Because if Moro absorbs 7-3, or fuses with him, that means that he can now access 7-3's powers to absorb and copy other people's techniques. So now we have a warrior that is as strong as Moro with the energy absorbing abilities but also he can copy techniques. Why is that bad? Because now it's possible that Moro can not only copy Ultra Instinct Omen possibly, but what's even worse is he might be able to copy Vegeta's spirit separation. And if he's able to do that, boy, is that going to be a problem. How are they going to be able to beat this guy? Well, I did a video with Aegis here on my channel about the possibility of Majin Buu appearing and fusing with Goku and Vegeta. So would it not make sense? Humor me here. And we'll discuss this a lot more on Saturday. Would it not make sense that if this battle is going to come to an end, that it ends up being Moro fused with 7-3 and Shimareku, two of his minions, versus Majin Buu, who absorbs Goku and Vegeta, which me and he just talked about in that video, which is a possibility. Never thought it would actually happen. Looks like it might happen. A three-way absorption fusion with the rematch between Moro and the Grand Supreme Kai happening now in the present. Except this time, they both got two warriors absorbed into them. Would that not be a poetic finale to this arc? Would that not be a cool fucking way to end this freaking arc and give us a battle like never before? The return of Buhan, except it's not Buhan, it's Bu with Goku and Vegeta, which means he would have access to Ultra Instinct Omen Speed and Spirit Separation, along with all the other hacked moves that Bu can do. We're talking about a potential warrior that is more powerful than Gogeta. Possibly. I'm not saying for sure, but it's possible. If Majin Bu absorbs Goku and Vegeta at this state, with all these abilities, we have a warrior that's more powerful than Gogeta Blue, without question. Think about that. Think about what I'm telling you right now. And I'm speculating on that part. I'm not saying it's a sure thing. But based on the fact that Moro right here has absorbed, as you can see, 7-3 and Shimareku and is now the ultimate warrior, the ultimate enemy. And Gohan's freaking out because that's what Gohan does now. He can't do anything but freak out. We've got a real problem here, folks. And that's probably going to be the end of the manga chapter. That's, I think that's going to be the cliffhanger right there. We're not going to get this battle this month. But, man, it's just... I mean, look at this. L look at that. He literally takes them and joins with them. And even Vegeta freaks out. So, 
that's what's happening yo again one last plug subscribe if you have not hit the like button remember to join me on saturday we got more videos coming out my manga review tomorrow then next week i got some very very cool videos planned for you guys captain ginyu technique guide also um the captain ginyu body change technique guide where i will finally answer the question what if Captain Ginyu absorbed a fusion? What would happen when they defuse? I have an answer for you in that video coming up next week. Also, or actually, might, might, might have it out on Sunday, actually. And, and the history of Vegeta's power-ups coming very soon to the channel. Meantime, check out the videos here on your screen right now. Thank you once again. Hope you enjoy it. Check out some of the videos I've done right there on your screen. I thank you. Take care of yourself and each other. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.